Hello and welcome YouTube. Welcome to 10 E Productions with 10. I am your host 10, obviously. Today's product is another Thrift Store Treasures. I believe this is my sixth video. I also want to apologize for the crackleness of the other several vids. My, my microphone was going in and out and I wasn't aware of it until afterwards. Um, this Thrift Store Treasures is a little bit different than the others. I actually didn't have any Star Wars figures in this one. I thought I did, but when I looked at them again, it wasn't a Star Wars figure. But with that being said, let's kind of look over what we have. Uh, it's going to be less descriptive than normal. I apologize again. The first item, and I think I just dropped one of my lights. The first item is from Play School um, Hasbro uh, Transformers. This is just a random robber. Um, there's no articulation. And it kind of looks like the Imaginix, but it really isn't. And I believe this guy goes to the set that has like the police station and the police transformer. I want to say it's Prowl, but I don't know anything about the newer modern aged um, transformers. So, yeah. And it's not bad. I love the black and white outfits that they have. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool looking, I guess. Nicely detailed, too bad there's no articulation. Um, speaking of Imaginex, a firefighter, I believe. I don't know what set he's from. Or if you had any helmets or anything, you can see the little flame there. This is why I think he's a firefighter. But, yeah, it's nicely detailed. It's the Matt Genex uh, articulation. You know, the arm rotates up and down. The wrists rotate. The legs move as one unit. And the head has a tight, limited articulation. But, you know... Overall, it's not bad. It's Imaginex, so you can't really expect too much. Uh, the next one is another Imaginex. Um, Mr. Freeze from Batman. Apparently, he's uh, Mr. Freeze was originally called Mr. Zero, and then later on renamed Mr. Freeze. Uh, he's premiered in Batman issue number 121. February 1959. Um, his real name is Dr. Victor Freeze, uh, with Freeze um, spelled pretty much the same way as Fries, F R I E S, but it's pronounced Freeze. Uh, um, and a little fun fact is his backstory was completely revamped with the Batman the Animated Series. Originally, he was just a robber with an icy gimmick. Uh, they later revamped him to basically be this tragic backstory of a gentleman whose wife was chronically ill. He cryogenically froze her and pretty much was spending his time trying to find the cure for her. And that's why he was robbing people and had that whole uh, cryogenic... Um, theme going on but the articulation is the same as a normal except for this arm doesn't pull out this one does um, no head articulation though I bet you anything if you remove the helmet somehow you can articulate his head a little bit but I like the detail I like the armor I'm not quite sure what rendition of Dr. Freeze this is because I'm not used to having a clear arm made out of ice with him. So I don't know really, again, newer aged comics and all that. Um, but that's a newer Dr. Freeze. 
Um, my next character is Joker. Um, yeah, everybody knows who Joker is. Uh, fun fact, he was actually supposed to be killed off in his first appearance. Uh, issue number one, Mar uh, April 25th, 1940. Um, but because of just, uh, what did they call it? Um, not animators. Uh, I, I don't know. Just due to some something, they kept him and he became... Uh, the pretty much the number one villain of Batman. He is a madman. Um, he's been played by quite a few different people, and he's been voiced by one of my favorite actors, Mark Hamill, in the animated series. Um, one of his main backstories is that he was originally a robber named Red Hood, and he fell into a vat that bleached his skin, dyed his hair, made him a little bit more crazy than normal. Um, he was he killed off Jason Todd, who, if people don't know who that is, he's the second Robin, uh, not Dick Grayson, who was the first. Um, it's funny because uh, Jason Todd came back to life and he became um, the Red Hood and beat the living snot out of Joker. Um, in the 1990s, the animated Batman series, uh, we all know Joker was partnered with Harley Quinn, which was her first introduction. She became a fan favorite, and she later gained comics. Um, yeah, other than that, I think that this is a really interesting Bat um, Joker. He actually looks more like the Joker from Batman Beyond, the leader Joker, rather than the Joker that we all know, especially the animated series Joker, which I think is one of the best ones. But nicely detailed, it's the same normal Imaginex articulation, so I'm not going to have to demonstrate that. Uh, another set of comics, we're going to flip side to Marvel this time. Um, and yes, whoop, hello there, I am Baymax, there's Gogo, I'm going to rotate this down a little bit, and, uh, Wasabi. Um, for those that don't know, this is from Big Hero 6, and I just dropped my flashlight. Uh, this is from Big Hero 6, which is a Disney movie, um, 2014. Uh, they are based on a Marvel comic of the same name. They look completely different in the comics. Uh, for example, Baymax was a synthetic creation that could alter his body structure. He had like a dragon mode and a mech mode um her story she's called go go tamago in the movie but apparently her name is liko tanaka in the comics um she wears a exo suit in the comics and this is the suit designed by hero in the movie Either way, she's like a speed expert, and she just lo loves going fast. Um, and this is Wasabi. Uh, his original name was Wasabi No Ginger. He was a cook in the comic, but in here, he's this OCD, freaked out character. Uh, he's actually one of my favorites. I love his weapons, which are these... What is it? Focused energy blades. Um, in the comics, he actually could wield different weapons and he could actually focus his chi and make like throwing knives. Um, either way, they're not bad variants of each other. They're just different takes of the same characters, I guess. Uh, apparently, the Big Hero 6 have interacted with other characters like Spider Man and such. But yeah, these are the three of the six characters we also need Sonny, Fred, and Hiro. 
I don't have them obviously. And these are also these that PCP plastic figurines. Uh, he was voiced by Scott Adist, uh, Jamie Chung, and Damon Wayne Jr. But yeah, all I know is in uh, Big Hero Six, Stanley's cameo was Fred's father at the end of the movie where he was the superhero but it's a great cartoon that they have also on Netflix uh, great movie and the comic isn't that bad um, I've read one or two little excerpts of it from, from what I've read it's pretty cool if I could get my hands on it I actually want to read the entire comic series um, another thing that I got is the this uh, totem pole, a uh, little carving. I think it's made out of wood. Um, and little fun thing, it's actually made in Canada. Um, to be honest, I didn't really do any research on the totem poles. I was going to, I ran out of time, but I figured I'd show it too because I really like it. Um, I'm giving it to my daughter because she liked it too, so I guess it's hers now. Really nicely carved. Uh, that's going to go over here. Um, the next on the list is this guy. I tried to figure out what kind of dinosaur he is. He is a ceratopsid um, related to the Triceratops. He is part of the... Centrosaurian subfamily, which means they have small um, or no brow ridges and a long front horn. Uh, I believe, if my if I was able to look at it correctly, this might be an Alberta Ceratops. Um, there's only been like two specimens found, and it's six meters long, roughly 20 feet, and was found apparently in Alberta, Canada, hence the name. Um, they are from the Cretaceous in North America, uh, 83.5 million years ago to the Maastricht. Maastrichtian age and yeah that's them he's got this weird gimmick apparently he folds up and snaps I don't know what he's from but uh, it's kind of cute it's got a mouth that stays open sometimes or but Wow, it's not even showing what I have now. Now the mouth's not even opening. There we go. His mouth opens. His legs articulate. Uh, the hind legs have simpler articulation. And like I said, he's got that spring body. Cute little figure. If you actually do know the type, please note it in the comments below. Um, so the next three characters, one of them, I'll show you from the back, and when I saw it, I thought it was an Imperial Soldier. Um, you can see it's all in gray, and it's a 3.75 inch character. I thought it could have been a reproduction, um, uh, vintage, but it's not, as you can see. It really is not a, uh, it's from the, oh God, uh, Super 7 uh, Reaction figure line. Uh, this is a 2015 uh, from Tomorrowland. This guy's name is Dave Clark, who is an audio animatronic character sent back in time by a David Nix to kill Casey, which was apparently the main character from Disney's Tomorrowland, uh, 2015. Uh, he was played by Matthew 
McCall. And I really don't know much. I, I never watched the movie. I've never read the book series. So, again, I really don't know much. But as you can see, he's got a dented face. And you can see a hint of metal in his cheek. But other than that, it's really good. It's that same limited posability that you get from the standard 3.5 characters that like the Star Wars ones um, no waist hip articulation just the legs and they don't go beyond this point there's a block here so they can't go backwards so you can't make them do splits but yeah as you can see and it took me a little bit to figure out who it was at First, I thought he could have been uh, the T-1000, uh, but after comparing it, I found out that he is from Tomorrowland. Speaking of Casey, another character, this is Casey. Uh, Casey Newton, who was played by Britt Robinson in the movie, and a young Shiloh Nelson was the younger version. She's apparently this super genius character in Tomorrowland that goes back in time and all that stuff and she saves the day. Again, I really don't know much about the series, the movie. Um, she's got that same limited leg hip movement. I know I'm moving it so fast. But um, she can't really move her hair too much because of the uh, her head too much because of the hair. But Again, she's got that very limited uh, articulation movements, the five-point articulations. And very nicely detailed, though. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but you can tell it says Disney on the top leg and Super 8 Funko 2015 on the bottom leg. Um... But that's kind of how I figured. Plus, she's got the the line of what it is on the bottom of her foot. It was oh, because of that I was able to figure out who she is. And the last character that I grabbed um, is this guy. It took me a while to figure out who he is because it's another show I didn't watch. Uh, Breaking Bad. This is Jesse Pinkman, I believe. Um. He's got the tattoo, really funky shirt, very interesting beard and mustache painted on. Looks almost fake if it was a real person. Um, again, he's got the limited. Uh, not, sorry about that. The limited articulation, uh, the head the arm, and the can't go back beyond this point. Um, and I keep knocking down my light. Apparently he is played by Aaron Paul, and he is the cooking partner and the former student of the main guy. Again, I, I don't know anything about Breaking Bad. I just know it's about a guy with a disease that makes some kind of methamphetamine that's bright blue. Didn't really interest me, so I never watched it. But yeah, these are the characters, as you can see, why I thought that he was a Star Wars character. Um, but again, I unfortunately didn't get a Star Wars character. Um, not a bad setup. Um, pretty cheap. The whole bag cost me about $4. Um... These guys alone go for pretty expensive. Uh, he's supposed to come with a suitcase or something like that. I don't know what these two came with. But they're expensive. Um, and ranging anywhere from like 8 to $20. So getting three of them for that cheap is actually a really, really good deal. Um, it's funny because these actually say these aren't toys. That they're not designed for kids to play with. They're just for collectibles because uh, yeah everybody wants to play with um, 
Jesse. <laughs> Let's give our kids Jesse, a meth head. Um, but yeah, it it's a really good lineup of figurines. Sorry. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, these Some of these guys are going to my kids. Some of them are getting displayed, obviously. And with that, I will bid you adieu. Adios y have a great day. Hasta luego.